the ongoing genocide in Palestine and a striking silence from the world community persists. What is happening in Gaza, and what actions can we take as individuals to address the situation? In 2023, we are witnessing terror, war, and genocide in the state of Palestine, particularly in the Gaza Strip. The Israeli military and government have initiated an operation, as they claim, but it's important to note that it is viewed by many as more than just an invasion. The reality is that many see this as it is genocide, and as a global community, we are collectively calling for an immediate ceasefire. However, it is a harsh truth that we, as individuals, have failed the Palestinian people over the course of 75 years. Regrettably, our continued inaction means that we bear the weight of innocent Palestinian blood on our hands. Referring to them as martyrs, believed to be headed for paradise in accordance with Islamic beliefs, serves as a reminder that we, as a global community, continue to fall short in our support for the Palestinian people every day. The Palestinian people don't seek our pity or financial aid, what they truly require is respect as human beings, the right to live in dignity, and the opportunity for a fair and humane life. Your government and mine have made it extremely challenging for the Palestinian people to exercise their rights by aligning with your government's support for Israel. As a result, innocent Palestinian children, women, and men are being killed every day by Israel, and it's not just due to the actions of armed forces but also the impact on the civilian Palestinian population. It is a war crime and it is genocide. Israel has been committing war crimes, resulting in the tragic loss of 8,306 Palestinian lives, killed by Israel's military and government. Many know these casualties are the consequence of 8,306 war crimes, which we attribute to Prime Minister Netanyahu and the Israeli government and to the people of Israel due to their support of genocide makers. Regardless of whom you support in your country or continent, there are deep concerns about the ongoing Israeli-Palestinian war that your government is doing in supporting genocide, and you are a supporter of genocide only by supporting the decision of your government. It's important to promote peace and justice for all, and many people have voiced their opinions about the situation in the Middle East. Israel is often referred to as the only democracy in the Middle East, but the continuous war and genocide have proven that Israel is not only a dictator government but the brother-in-law of Mr. Hitler, they are causing a second holocaust, and they have learned nothing from their own history.